Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I'm here with a quick video because that's all I have right now time for is quick videos. But I wanted to share with you guys this um, idea that I came up with um, as a gift to someone or um, a little on the go package. So I like to craft on the go. Sometimes I bring stuff to work on my lunch break um, to bring, you know, pack up little things. So this is a little idea that you could use to pack up for yourself to do if you are on the go or you can give to someone completes it or give to someone to for them to pack up on the go. So you'll see that in a second, but I'm going to show you the things that I use as my little to go kits. So I use these extra large um, paper clips just for decoration. I use flowers. I have an array of, of flowers from different places that I've collected. Um, not necessarily those, but I just wanted to show you guys. These clothes pins, super cute. I get these from Michaels. Um, some medium tassels. These came from a Tuesday morning. This uh, shaker heart wood table scatter from the Target dollar uh, three dollar bin and then I used some paper this collection happens to be carousel from Maggie Holmes and I printed on 110 pound weight cardstock and then I also um, cut out the die cuts I use my silhouette cameo to cut out my die cuts and I just keep them together in a clear bag and I do that with all of my collections right when I print everything off so I don't have to worry about it later because I get lazy and then I'm using some 12 by 12 vellum. I'm gonna get this from Hobby Lobby. So let me show you the end result of what I'm talking about. Super cute. Aren't these adorable? Oh my gosh, I added a little bit of sequence in there um, just for the effect of the packaging. So this, these are altered clothespins. So you could actually, like I said, give them to someone look at my fingers because I painted the clothespins <laughs> it's, it's trifling um, you could actually give this as a completed gift because when you set up your kit you you can do it and you know have it all completed and give it to them or you can give them all the elements and they can make their own and gift it to someone or you can just put it all together yourself so lots of options here so this is where I put that paper clip and tassel just on the outside to decorate the packaging I um, cut the vellum down to six by six and I use my sewing machine to do a zigzag stitch and then I used my um, Fiskars zigzag scissors to do um, cut the outside on the on the vellum and then some sentiments from the collection I tacked down there it says so sweet and I got the little cotton candy thing and some velcro dots it's holding that close and then of course my sequence is all in there and look how cute these clothespins are I do have a tutorial on how I do my clothespins I'll link that down below but look how adorable that is and then also I use the stern um, top note die which I forgot to show you it's a Sizzix um, stepping up top note die big top note die it's an older die but I love it always comes in handy and I did that with white card I mean with cardstock from the collection on front and back and chipboard sandwiched in between so super cute and all the clothes pins are on this little bar that I created on here popped up with some dimensionals so this clothes pin I whitewashed I painted the clothes pins then whitewashed the paper pattern paper that I have on top the clothes pins have been stickled this one has a little hole punched in it I used um, this little doohickey that you actually use to punch holes in a bottle cap that just works perfectly um, for the wood and then you hang a little charm on there so pretty and then it has lace underneath there and then two little bling pearls on there and then this one everything has been stickled this one is a yellow one using yellow pattern paper whitewash down all the flowers and the paper and then it has bling on there and two different flowers and then two different flowers here this one has the table scatter heart underneath with some more stickles on it and then there's a little bling piece sticking out there so the recipient or you have an option of um, using the heart as the um, base piece looks looks super cute using no heart or using a charm so really really fun and then once you're done because you'll package everything up back in here with your little velcro dot and then decorate it just like so so if you were making this kit to gift or to use on the go for yourself, it's super easy. 
this is what you would have now if you don't have all those elements that I showed you I do have seven of these already put together um, if you're interested just leave a comment down below and we can discuss they are ten dollars that includes shipping already all the stuff comes in it I've already zigzagged your paper and all that so but look how easy and you know this is to put together so and you can do it yourself so you get your clothes pins that's all you need to add in there so the recipient gets it will be fun to do like a little craft project you can use different pattern papers different themes so this is all using the carousel collection though so you get your clothes pins and then you can pack yourself some flowers some coordinating flowers don't forget to add your pattern paper use whatever pattern paper I really like this pattern paper because it had different designs and then I can pick up my flower colors using this design so that's why I chose that of course you got to have a really cute backing so I have my front and back of my top note and my chipboard piece so that you can package it up if you're gifting it this is the layer piece so that you can pack that on top of there of course you have your dimensionals to put on there you put two dimensionals here two dimensionals there and then you just adhere your little piece across so that your clothes pins can fit snugly on there and then you have your heart pieces so if you want to do three hearts and layer them all on there you could and then I use three of these bits on my um, clothes pins some of them will have these and some of them have like uh, thin lace on there and then of course for your decoration you have your tassel and then your bling piece if you want to add bling your velcro for your closure your charm bit and then your already completed velcro square and then your uh, ephemera this will vary obviously um, but you'll get something with a sentiment something to decorate the front of your package just comes with the little horse and it says filled with joy so that's just an idea of what you guys can package up if you want to send it in like a little rack a little thank you gift and then you put it in there add some little sequins if you want to to the bottom and send it on your way I just thought this was a really really cute idea to oops, to gift and I love the um, velcro the velcro I love we all like the velcro but I like the opaqueness of the vellum so I think it turned out super cute all right, guys, I will talk to you guys if uh, next time in the next video. I don't know when that will be. But if you're interested in um, just getting one of these to go, leave a comment down below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.